Hi everyone, um, here we are out on the boat today, uh, glorious morning here, um, we're out here fresh as shark fishing or pool beagles as well, um, seeing what we can get for the big stuff, we're out the back of the Isle of Wight here, we're starting off, we've motored up from uh, Portsmouth all the way to the Needles, which is about 30 miles, uh, we're about 5 miles off the, off the Needles out to sea, and then we're drifting along over to St Catherine's Point. Um, and then we we take that whole tide, uh, the tide of turn, and then we head all the way back. Um, so uh, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm with James here today, we're on James's boat. I've got something wrong with my boat. The uh, bow thruster's gone, so uh, we're just in the middle of mending it. It's not much. It's only the brushes. Uh, and James is going to mend it for me. All right, James. Morning, mate. Oh, yeah, morning. All right. Morning. <laughs> bright and breezy. Yeah, bright and breezy. We was up. We had. Uh, we was catching some uh, fish last night on the um, with a light, a green light underneath the boat, and we had a bait ball going. And uh, yeah, we, unbelievable! We had 60 scad that we brought up uh, out here today, and we're uh, going to use them for chum and stuff. But yeah, I'll show you the videos of that uh, along the way. And um, yeah, so if anything happens, we get out to the mark here, and we're um, we're bringing back if anything happens. All right, thanks a lot. Cheers, bye. So this is the uh, the light that we got. James has got this light. Uh, it's like a, um, an LED green light. So we put it down under the water, about three three foot down, I would say. Uh, and the white bait and the small fish and fry all come around the light. Um, you leave green it there for about an hour, um, and then what happens is is the the fish congregate around the around the light, and then after a while, the big ones come in and smash the bait ball. But we didn't realise that they would come in as much as they did. If you carry on watching, you'll see what happens. So as you can see now, it's been an hour since we put the light down. Uh, the bait ball has been reduced to this little tiny bit in the middle where the fish has just gone absolutely mad for them. Um, and as you can see, you can see bass here, uh, are predominantly uh, scad. Um, and we managed to, uh, to feather up 65 scad uh, for the fishing trip the next day, which was great that we didn't have to go out and catch mackerel and stuff. Um, so there it is. Uh, how many fish are there? It's unbelievable. Carnage. Absolute carnage. This is underneath our mooring. It's that one in five women will experience mental health issues. Came back. Right. Switch it right here, Dan. Oh, hello. He came back. He came back for it, didn't he? Yeah, he Could be a. A nice taupe here. <laughs> oh, I've missed that sound. Oh, I've yeah, I've missed that sound at all.
What do you reckon it is, people? We sort of know. King mackerel. King mackerel. Tuna. Pouting. Yeah. Is that the leader? It is, yeah. Come leader. Up. Oh, it's just there, isn't it? Bring him round again. Just gonna in the sunshine, that's beautiful, isn't it? He's off again. He's diving down. Just gonna try and show you him here just as he comes up through the water. Come back. Oh, come back. Baby, Strong. come back. It's a struggle, isn't it? He's right under the boat, look, can you see him? Yeah, yeah, here he Ooh, comes. There he comes. Here he comes. Oh, look at that. That is what you call a nice tote. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, I better there. just put the camera back. And, uh, and uh, so what we do with that one is we will tote this. We will tote it. We will tag it. <laughs> What just inside the door in that top shelf is a pair of cutters. Yeah, that's true. You get out, haven't you? Have you got a thing in there? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. You need a measurement. Yeah, we're getting tags. Same flat, next flat on the floor. Metric, metric. Oh, sorry, mate. One, one forty. One meter four hundred. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a shame it went around the other line because it cut it straight off. Yeah. And that, that gear I've just put up. down there. Oh, what shame. Yeah, but you never know. Might catch it back in a minute. Yeah. Done that before. It's a shame, isn't it? Just that. Uh, fork in the fork, 1400 between the forks. Like, right, like that. Yeah. That's it, yeah, down to the bottom. 300. Bit more on it. 320? Yeah, 310. 310. 310. measurements right and we just show you now how he's going to go away from the end of the boat james yeah you, you let him go with it or? that's it mate 1400 310 wasn't it you want oh, yeah, photo. i just told it yeah photos no it's actually photos it's nice to get them where are we at? 
Oh, James, just do that. Please. Oh, first. Oh, you forgot your face. Oh, Where's the camera on this? I've got it, I've got it. Yeah? Yep. Well done, mate. It's nice there on the sun. Come on, James. Thank you. Well, mate. Smile. <laughs> Nice one, mate. That's good enough, mate. Yeah. Hang on. Just get the camera. Yeah, get ready to let him go, James. And I'll just uh got it. Yeah. 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 Lovely. Yeah. Right. All tagler. Lovely. James has just said let him go. Hopefully. He should just uh, swim away really nicely, hopefully. Under the boat. Oh no. There he goes. He's just getting rehabilitated. He's getting ready. Getting ready now, isn't he? He'll probably leave you with a mush full of water. He wants to go underneath the boat, doesn't he? Nah, just let him go, change if you want. That's fine, mate. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Wherever, wherever he turns up, Cheers. we will know. Well done, James. Well Cheers, mate. Cheers, Tony. Spot on, mate. And that's what we come um, for. One of the things we come for, ideally a bigger one, and that would be nice. But beggars can't be choosers. Uh, yeah, a nice 30 pound tote. Tagged and released, and away he goes. Brilliant. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Shame we went round the other line. Went round the other line. James just put the gear down, and these rigs ain't cheap. They're like, I don't know, 10 to 15 quid a, a rig. Believe it or not. Yeah. With the hook, you know, everything else that's on it, leader, swivels, uh, quick release. Yeah, it's all expensive stuff. So shame that was because it didn't have to do that, did it, James? No, but it's. Um, well, obviously lost all, lost it all. It went round a shark. It just cut the line. Um, just shows that at 50 pounds braid is not man enough for a <laughs> for a shark. Just cut it like butter. Anyway, we'll uh, bring you back if we get anything else. Cheers. Told me big baits for catching a big fish. Big baits, big fish. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> That's all right. Oh, they're strong. strong. They're just a little tiny one like this. You can't believe how strong they are. It's really can't. Struggling. He's made mince meat of that. I know. What's that Pollock? So there he is. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop him straight back. Um, I'll turn you around. You might see him just about go. 
when I was there, look, so hopefully you can see it. Right, ready? He's a gunner. So hardy, isn't he? They really are. Bird on, mate. Right, I've got up to be in a little sweet spot then. Well, I'm just going to show you how we uh, bait up now. Just uh, literally show you, hopefully you can uh, yeah, see it there. Right, so what we've got, tackle we've got, etc. Just take the float off. Float comes off, it's got like an American snap swivel, so it just comes straight off just to make it easier to uh, take off if you find something big. So we've got about 20 foot of rubbing leader, and that's 250 pounds. And then I've got a, I've got a ball just on a, it's about a three quarters of a pound ball on that. Um, that ball looks just on a on a on a swivel, and then on an American snap swivel, and that just slides up and down the line. Right? It's just give it a bit of weight to get the fish down, and then it goes down to a coxswain rule. Um, I think they're twelve oh hooks, and then that's four hundred and eighty pound of uh, wire, and they're all crimped on. Well, I reckon that's had its day. It's an old. Uh, that was an old. Uh, what was that, James? Pollock, wasn't it? Yeah. No, Pollock. Pollock. We caught two weeks ago. It's made mincemeat of that. Look. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're chucking in a bit of ground bait. Yeah. Up again. I'll show you how we do it. Right. Let's get up. Uh, let's get a decent bait. Right. 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 Got an old mackerel here, look. So literally, it's a bit soft to be quite honest, but it'll be all right. Just head hook it, just like that. And put that over the side. Just let it go, so it's all in the water. Let that go down, hit bottom, nice and slowly, you don't want to tangle up the fish as it goes down, and when it hits bottom. Quite deep here, it's about 130 foot I think, still going down look. Right, just hit bottom, so I'll bring it up and we'll give 10 turns up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight. I'm going to go 8, polite. And then, so we'll take the turns off the bottom, so about 8, eight metres off the bottom, I would say. And then we'll put the float on. So we connect the float by connecting the snap swivel at the top. Bottom actually. Actually, that slid down, didn't it? I was right. That marker has slid down, but. Wally Shark floats. You owe me a new float. It's broke. So that's got to go up to the top there, where you're not going to see it properly. It comes off of there, let's see where it's pink up. It slipped down. I suppose it won't matter now. So what we do is we're. Um, We undo the bottom, pull it through and just make a loop in it. Like that. So it's a looped on. And then put, just put your finger through it quick, not too much. But if anything can take that while you're doing this, you can lose your, your finger. Just be ready to take it out in case it did go. Do this, it's better to do it the end of the Tight as you can get it. Right, now you're going to go up now. So we'll leave that for 
do that when I get on it's all dry. And then we let that go out and then we just let the let the line go out. Unfortunately it's going down underneath the front. Going out this side. Just let it go out. As far away from the boat as you want, you can see it. I'll show you in a minute, two steps. Just stick it in there. Dry my hands. Oh, James. Oh, boy, Hi. So there we go, there's the reel, and that's just unreeling that. The top there and that's my float to the left not this one here on the right it's the one over there underneath there and that's just going to go out away from the boat you just let it go out about probably three times that far uh, the bait is now sitting eight meters don't forget off the bottom so anything comes just along the bottom they're going to smell that or see that and uh, it's be sitting nice on the hook presented nice and hopefully it looked like a little bite then then little take there but uh obviously it's little troughs and stuff and makes the float move a bit funny when you've got a live bait on obviously they do pull, pull the float under but that's how we do it anyway so if uh if that goes down i'll bring you back He's at it again. Has he gone over to my rod? Something got here, but something weird happening. When he lets it down, the rod bends down again. It looks heavier than a pound lead, doesn't it? That one I felt that day, I went right down for it, and then I only felt it was right in the top. people it's about I don't know eight pounds eight pounds 
They're quite heavy. You don't realise how heavy they are until you actually got one in your hand. Yeah, yeah, that there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll let him go anyway. Uh, he will scream off this one. He won't sleep. <laughs> God. Wow. They know, they know exactly where they are, don't they? Yeah. And there he goes down. Last one, well done, James. Cheers. Oh, well, you really beat me now. <laughs> a 30 and the same, about the same size what I had. Well, maybe mine's a little bit bigger. Oh, whatever! <laughs> the second one that was. Oh, yeah. By about half an hour, I think. Right, uh, we'll bring you back if we get anything else. Maybe it's coming straight at you. Took your float straight down, though, didn't he? Yeah, interesting. I'm gonna have to call you Turbo. Woke up now. Turbo Tony, so that only took you minutes. Oh, he woke up. Is that one of those new straight rods? They don't bend. Could be. Pollock, bass. It's not a weed fish, is it? Let's have a look and see what it is first. <laughs> they must have changed shape. <laughs> it's quite a decent one, isn't it? <laughs> it's got, I've got a face full of water then, won't it? Do you want me to take your float off? Yeah, I'm quite happy, Danny, just playing around on that. Yeah. yeah. 